Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to an all-new series here on the Corky's World Channel. Uh, if you catch that little bumper right quick, you will know what it is. But just in case you missed that only thing on screen, let's uh, let's walk through this little opening. Powered by Gamebryo. Uh, pretty uh, pretty de decent competition to uh, the Unreal Engine. Got Cryoware. Presented in Dolby Digital, of course. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Catherine. Uh, so, so this game is is an odd title for sure. Uh, when it first came, when I I remember first reading about it and being so interested and so enthralled. And then it came out at a time where I didn't really have money to just be throwing on games, let alone games I wasn't sure about. So, fast forward like a year or two, it's been out for a while. I caught it on sale and picked it up and played it furiously. Like, I was so enthralled and then something came along, a new Pokemon or, you know... Uh, a new Pokemon, a new game, whatever, what have you, you know, a new job... Uh, and I stopped playing, so I didn't really get super far in this. <laughs> oh my god, just this little opening video. Uh, so, it's definitely, this is one of those games that blurs the line between a game and a movie and, you know, and an experience. So, one of the big deals about this game is it gives you the option of choice. Uh, you know, whether to choose between... Well, I'm not going to say too much, just in case anyone hasn't seen it. And maybe you wanted to experience this, maybe not playing it, but through a playthrough. So that's what this is going to be, guys. Uh, snap. And uh, so let's let's get to it. I'm going to start a new game. Enjoy our story by taking control of our tormented main character and leading him to freedom. All right. So uh, Golden Theater is what we want to do. We want a new game. If you're a player who's interested in Catherine for the story, this is for you. This game is for... I don't know. Like, I was already having difficulty, and I think I was playing on normal. So, uh, I'm an average game gamer, so uh, let's see if we can beat Catherine on normal. Uh, this mode is for experienced players. Is it okay to start? Uh, um, yeah. Grab a snack and enjoy the strange tale of Catherine. So here we go, guys. Uh, I'm going to try and have the volume. Uh, all the world's a stage and all the men and women merely players. Shakespeare as you like it. I'm trying to make sure this is loud enough for you guys to enjoy. I actually don't remember this. <laughs> So earlier today, I had just finished wrapping up uh, a little playthrough of, or the beginning of a playthrough of uh, another game, Ultimate Alliance 2, which is completely opposite of what we're about to play here. Golden Playhouse is kind of like, I guess you would call it the studio that shows the story. Welcome to the Golden Playhouse. Your guide for the night is me. The Midnight Venus, Trisha. Trisha. Have you heard about this scary rumor? They say if you fall in a dream and don't wake up before you land, you die in real life. Now that is uh, an actual rumor that floats around. Is Catherine, an unconventional romantic horror. A man with a certain curse has a terrifying week. Our hero in this story is Vincent Brooks, age 32. He's an earnest and kind man. But one day, we begin to see him have terrifying nightmares. On top of that, a torrent of sweet seduction swoops down upon him. Mmm, what a playboy, huh? Will he be able to overcome all the blocks in his life? Okay, so 
It says he has a terrifying week, which leads me to believe that there are seven stages that we need to conquer. Keep you waiting. Raise the curtains. And, I, and I'm trying not to talk much because I do want this to be a story-driven playthrough where you guys can actually get all of this. The, uh, the animation style reminds me a lot of... Uh, Fuck, I had the name of the, the anime in my head. Hey, where'd you go? Snap out of no. it. Were you even listening? God, what was it? Eon Flux on uh, that used to be on MTV at night in the 90s. Is everything all right? You've been spacing out left and right. Oh, sorry. I uh, had to work early this morning. <laughs> Huge shout out to Atlas to make the Persona games. Huge fan of those. If uh, Professor Sanford ends up watching this series, Professor Sanford will leave other uh, Catherine McBride. <laughs> uh, we'll leave other Atlas games in the comments down below. But I don't know that he's going to be watching this one. Sweet music. Uh, Kazuhisa Wada, Yujiro Kosaka, Shigenori Soijima, Shoji Maguro, directed by Katsura Hashino. Where do we where do we drop off into this? I do not remember. This is a spur of the moment playthrough right here. Oh, we're just getting right into it. Hear my controller. <laughs> Stage one, underground cemetery. Help me! Is anyone out there? Hurry up and climb. Who are you? Save your breath and start climbing. If you fall, you're dead. Die. The bottom of the stage is falling. I love when I don't have to narrate. Here we go. supposed to move these things press the a button to grab the block while holding the block use the directional pad you can also undo your last move by all right back undoes our last move so that's going to be important Second. down the road all right all right all right finding and picking up a mystic pillow will grant if you see one make an effort to get it Okay, so pillows are continues. Those are going to be super helpful down the road. Like, crazy helpful. Don't just push blocks around without thinking about them. They'll collapse, and you could put yourself into an impossible situation. Collapse? Moving blocks around carelessly can make things more difficult for you. This is truly a very crazy puzzle game. Truly revolutionary. Uh, fantastic. Uh, it's super fun. <laughs> As you can see, we're only like halfway up the tower on the little thing right there. Alright, moving blocks around carelessly can make things more difficult for you. Try pulling a block to make some footing. So it was telling me to do the move I already did. But it's also saying, don't be careless. This is very important, so make sure you remember what I'm going to tell you. What is it? These blocks aren't normal. They'll lock into place and support your weight, even if they're only touching by their edges. 
What's that supposed to mean? They connect at the edges. Even if a block has nothing directly under it, as long as it's touching an edge of another block, it won't fall down. That's what it means, ya goon. The edges glow bluish white when they make a connection. See? Alright, I got it. Crap. Hmm. Oh, this is fun. This is fun to be back in. Doesn't make any sense. How is it not falling? I mean, what about gravity? Don't think about it. Just use it to your advantage. They won't fall, so make stairs with them. Just get used to it. Just get used to it. Making stairs is the core of successfully scaling the tower. Use the correct to create. Got it. That's not what I wanted to do, but it'll work. And we made it. Where is this? What is this ringing? As you near the top, you will hear a bell ring. Anyway, good luck. If we both make it out of here alive. Hey, hey, wait a sec. All right, go, go. Uh oh. Something's coming. Great escape. You survived. Hell yeah. Don't recall what the coins are for. Ooh. Nice. Holy crap! How do we get an achievement <laughs> that I didn't get before? Ooh! First day, Vincent's room, 810. Oh, what a terrible dream. Checking to see if he wet the bed. <laughs> Telephone. Uh, hello? But, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll be in today's code review meeting. Really? No, no, I'm just, uh, just a little under the weather. No, no, it's okay. I'll be right there. Yeah. Um, sorry. What happens when I do this? Okay, cool. So, guys, we're gonna cut the first episode there. Uh, welcome to Catherine. This is gonna be uh, this is gonna be a pretty crazy, crazy playthrough. I'm gonna stop and then start immediately. You guys aren't gonna miss any cuts, any story, anything. So, uh, this is the end of this episode, but stay tuned for the next. So, guys, thanks so much for liking, commenting, and subscribing. I uh, hope you're in for a wacky, sexy, crazy, strange ride. Uh, I know I am. So guys, as always, be good to yourself, be good to each other, and I will see you in the next episode. Later days, guys.